Welcome back. Today we are looking at the WTI oil. And uh, as you can see, we have been on a quite bullish run since the uh, end of April when oil actually became negative. Today, oil is around $30, $31 per barrel. And we're running in quite a lot of resistance at the moment. However, I anticipate oil to go to uh, go reach the 50% uh, Fibonacci retracement level before we uh, start going down again. Um, there's no reason for oil to increase this rapidly um, uh, in, this, uh, in this period. Um, air travel is still down. Um, uh, production is still down around the world. Uh, the world is technically in a recession at the moment. And uh, probably the reason why we're going up at this moment is because uh, economies are opening again. Uh, there's quite a lot of speculation. and um, But reality is that we are not going back anytime soon uh, to the same levels as prior to the, um, the, the coronavirus. So we will most likely hit the 50% uh, Fibonacci retracement. And uh, this is a massive uh, resistant level. As you can see, we have an enormous gap here from the, the 1st of uh, March. And it will take a lot of good news in order to get through this area. So when we combine both the 50% uh, Fibonacci with this um, gap here, it would make sense that we would hit massive resistance and we'll start going down again. So the question is whether or not we will have the same event as in April where oil becomes negative. Maybe because uh, stocks are still uh, full. and But however, production has been cut. Uh, there is some economic activity um, at the moment, so but we will most likely go underneath the 50, um, 50 uh, moving average. We will most likely hit it and test 30, then 25, then 20, then $50, and maybe go down to $10 uh, in the long run. Uh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.